I've been scared to make this video because it's going to highlight the scope of our RC addiction. But I'm in between projects right now and enough people have asked about it. So this is the 2024 rundown of our entire RC collection. You guys ready? There it is. So Axel counted them up earlier. How many do we got, buddy? 73. Oh, oh please. 79. <laughs> okay, here's the full deal. So we're going to run through these. We've got everything lined up. Last time we did this, we only did crawlers only. This time, we've got everything. So we're going to go through the full lineup here. I got my little buddy down here who's going to help me. We're not going to go through the backstory of each and every single one of them because this would be a two hour video. So we're going to go through, hit the highlights as we go along. Axel's going to jump in. He'll give us his thoughts as well. Let me talk about some of his favorites. So let's kick it off. See, we got to organize by size and by class. Let's do these four backstories. Start small? Yeah. All right, let's start small over here. The front row is 24 scale lineup. So let's start down here in the corner. What do we got here? First up is the Orlando Hunter. So this was the kit build. This is one of my first kit builds that I did. Micro scale RC truck. Axel really likes this one. It's a lot of fun. It's tricky though, because it seems to break all the time, but it's hanging in there. Next, we're gonna move into the SCX24 Gladiators. Now these are the ones that really started it all. Primarily these two right here. This is the Matriarch. She was the very first SCX24 that we got, the Blue Gladiator. Shortly thereafter, we got the Tan Gladiator for Axel, and it has since become this highly customized Monster Truck Gladiator. Yeah, and it also, now I, have, I keep changing the tires. Yeah. From Crawler to Monster Truck, Monster Truck to Crawler. I do that all the time here in the beginning so this when for the anniversary of the channel and my first SCX24 I built this scale replica of my one-to-one -one Jeep Gladiator so we got two blue gladiators there coming down the line we got the new power wagons this is a fairly new release from Axial I just got myself an orange one just recently Axel's got the green one a couple of MES Racing MB24 builds so this was the SCX24 red Bronco that I put the Mies racing kit on Don't forget to do mine. and then I did a scratch build spare parts build for Axel's green one there this is of course special to us because it was a co-branding effort with Mies racing it's got the Cape Crawlers logo in the kit super cool does it. next we got the OG C10 one of the original SCX 24s this thing's been highly modified since then Maz designs cheat code chassis this thing's a sleeper Still hanging on there, one of the originals. Some FCX 24s, we got the new Unimog there with the camper shell on it. That's one of Axel's favorites. Yep, it, it, go, it can go so far in the mud, I've never seen any other truck do it. <laughs> it goes up this way too. Now we got a couple FCX 24 Blazers. We got the Way Cool McHugh edition. We got the black K5 couple of AX24s. These are super customized as well. I stretched mine out. It's got the Fury Tech Angry Sparrow chassis kit. Axles is running the AX24 kit from Next Racing. I'm going to get into a couple custom LGRP builds. This is my Ripper build. Here's my comp chassis. I can see it through eyes. It has, it's a two C's. It has cape crawlers ghosted into the hood there. Yeah, I saw it. Here we have the Slayer build. So this is one of my favorite builds of all time right here. Love the Slayer. Another OG one here. This is Snaggletooth, the Deadbolt. Snaggletooth has gone through a number of iterations. This most recent version running the Maz Designs Cheat Code XL chassis. Custom livery on this body. Love this thing. Here's the SCX24 Warthog. FCX24 Power Wagon. This was my blue Power Wagon, currently running the Dark Knight chassis kit from Next Speed. I'll probably put the Power Wagon body back on that. Here we've got a little red Power Wagon. This is Axles. It's got the McHugh RC angry front grille on it. Very cool. The FCX24 Lemurs, completely stock. That's the brand new 
recently refreshed Jeep Gladiator. Then we have Axel's deadbolt here running the old snaggletooth body. Yep. So we took the previous snaggletooth body and put it on Axel's deadbolt so she lives on. Yep, we call this the, the, the next snaggletooth. The next snaggletooth. Yeah, the second snaggletooth. And here is my most recent build. This is the SCX24 JLU build that I've been working on. All right now we're going to get into some of the bigger scales here. This is the Cayman Pro, the FuryTech Cayman Pro SZK. It's a fairly new release right there. This is the Fire Horse. All stock. And we won this one. Yes, we, we do. Won we won it at Crawloween. That's right. That was a prize for winning our first crawler competition. Next up is the FX 118. This is the Fury Wagon. Brushless RTR. Very cool truck there. Yeah, and the motor burnt out. It did? I think that's what happened. Oh, yes, that's right. And I got a new motor in it. Yeah, I moved. You see, out. you remember it more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the FMS Atlas 6x6. This has been a fun project. We have customized this a fair amount. Yeah, it's stretched. It's got big it. tires on it. Yeah, it really falls apart a lot, though. It does. When you start messing with it, it compromises the reliability. Yeah. It's, it's, it's working at least. Yeah. Right now. Here we have the CR18P T-Hunter. This one's pretty highly modified. We've customized this quite a bit. We've done our own DIY Evo conversion. It's got the two-speed transmission, bigger motor, all that good stuff. This is the CR18P Evo Pro. I love this truck. This is a fairly new release. I totally am obsessed with this truck. Such a great performer out of the box. Incredible. This is Axel's Mias Ripper. I built this and then handed it over to him because he really liked it. This is uh, fully built by Mias Racing parts throughout. And it's pretty fast. It is pretty fast. It's a fun truck. Okay, next up is the Orange Tarantula. This is an Endura kit build. This was again built from the ground up with Endura parts. Really, really love that truck. Turned out to be one of my best performing rigs. And another Endura build here. This is the IR40 built on the TRX4M platform. Dig this thing for sure. This has been another one of my favorite projects recently. Just put the DJ Crawler 1.33 inch retro wheels on it diamond axles this thing is very very cool next up is axles trx 4m defender so when the trx 4ms first came out i got the bronco axel got the defender yeah and this has a pretty cool it got really scratch scratched up from its amazing adventure yep like for phoenix yes it happens yep Next up is Black Betty. So this is my TRX 4M Bronco. It has gone through so many different iterations and modifications. It's been torn apart, rebuilt, traded, rebuilt again, but this is the newest version of Black Betty. Love that thing. A couple of high trails here. So when the high trail TRX 4Ms came out just recently, Axel and I both got one. This is his that we've turned into the mega truck. This is the high trail mega truck. This is a mega mud truck. Yes, yeah, so it's running the RC all-wheel drive portal axles and the 74 millimeter DJ crawler tires, making it incredibly good in the mud. Yeah, and, it's, and it has a really great amount of deep. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Here is my box stock TRX 4M high trail. This is the F-150. I really, really dig it because it looks great and functions perfectly. Plus, it matches the big one back there, which we'll get into in a little bit. Oh, we can't look at that one too close. That's an unreleased FCX model that we can't talk about. Next up is the FCX 18 LC70. This is the Land Cruiser. A couple of Land Cruisers here. Axel really took this one on because he likes the scale look and has a lot of fun with this one, towing the trailers yeah, with it. Yeah, it has three trailers. Yep. This is all stock as well. We haven't done hardly anything to this one. Just a lot of fun just to see it super scale bombing around. Very cool. Yeah, we tried changing the tires it, and jacking it up, but it did not work. It, it turned out to break. Yep. 
Now here's our little, I think it's a 12 scale, 12 scale Suzuki Jimny from FMS. Another one completely stock, just like to look at it in scale form. Axel likes to put stuff in it and bomb around. You got toys in it. Oh yeah. I see. You got a little, is that a gladiator in there? Yeah. There's two gladiators. <laughs> okay. In there. I forgot. So that's where my two gliders went. Next up is a WPL, I think it's the B36 hauler. We got this for Axel's birthday just recently. It's an army flatbed. Very cool. Super detailed. Lots of great features with the WPL and a very affordable price. And it even makes sound. It has a speaker in it. Yeah. This is Daddy Capra. Yes, this is the new UTB18 Capra that I just got recently because I traded my other fully built one. I had one all kitted out with the four wheel steer. This one's lightly modified. It's also dirty, but I missed it. So I bought another one. It was on sale and I had a coupon, so I grabbed it. We actually traded the other one for that muddy monster back there. This is Daddy Tanko Gladiator. This is the, yep, this is the SCX10 Jeep Gladiator. Probably my favorite of all time. Very close to the Mini Gladiators. This one was the truck that I really wanted from the get-go when I got into RC, and I absolutely adore that thing. And this is my Gladiator. Yes, as with most, we got to get two. So this is Axel's SCX10 Gladiator. It's yep. beat up right now. It's not running. It's having some issues. But this one's very cool. Super customized. Custom paint. Me, it has some very bad scratch marks. Yep. We need to get it repainted. <laughs> Again. A little bit on the hood. Next up is a new addition. This is an SCX10 Jeep Wrangler. This was That's actually a new a gift to the channel we've got yeah. some amazing friends of the channel that just hooked us up with this thing we just got it recently just got it up and running just gonna have some fun with that one yeah next up we've got the red cat ascent absolutely love that thing bargain performance right there it's lightly modified but just been having a lot of fun with it in the very simple form that it's in here we have the danchi ridge rock speaking of budget performance four-wheel steering buggy right there just put the Luis RC 2.2s on it big tires yeah we each have fun with this one we do yeah that one's a blast yeah, we love it. next up is the SCX 10 Bronco the early Bronco custom painted on this one also running the Luis RC tires on it just recently got John Cena in there driving got the fog lights on the front otherwise stock really enjoy that truck as well Moving on to the Vanquish, the VS410 Phoenix Portal Edition. This is the Falcon Special Edition. This was my first foray in the tent scales other than an Axial product. And I really, really like it. You can see this one's got the Vanquish beadlocks. It's got the dual stage foams in it. It has the Fusion Pro brushless motor. That thing's a weapon. Speaking of weapons, this is the SCX10 Pro build that I did just recently. It's got the carbon fiber rails, some brass on it, it's got a winch. That thing is incredibly capable. Super fun project there as well. Another project here, another kit build. This is the killer body. This is the Mercury chassis kit with the Land Cruiser body on it. Now this was difficult, challenging to build to say the least but ultra ultra scale super cool truck yeah and this is not very much of a crawler no it's not a crawler it's more of a looker yeah more of a, a pretty much house driver what? next up we've got the h1 yeah. hummer yep, my, one of my favorite. this is one of our favorites axel loves military vehicles so the hummer from fms this is a super cool truck that we got over the summer. He's got some army guys in there. Yep, they're driving. <laughs> I, I also got, gave them names. What's their names? So this one's me, and this one's just me, and this one's you. Okay. It's I your, gave them names. It's your crew. Yep. <laughs> this is another new release I'm not supposed to talk about, so we're going to skip past that one. Here we have Axel's TRX4 yeah. High Trail Sport. Yep, in it. And it also has a winch. With the winch on it? Yeah, it's a working truck, and it, it's good in the mud and on rocks. It's amazing on crawl tracks. Sure is. Of course, we get two of everything. So this is my high trail over here. Yep. When I got my high trail, he had to get a high trail, so the sport made sense. But that's my F-150 high trail. 
I actually got that it was blue when I got it and then I put the body on it did the pro scale light kit bumper guard otherwise it's all stock yep. and this is my one of my most favorite RCs I have the, the legendary, Rango the legendary Rango yeah haha <laughs> I've been through a lot of of, of of fixing yeah the Rango is our actual first large scale crawler this was sent to us from yeah. legendary to review and Axel yep. has thrashed this thing so hard and it just keeps on going yeah it even got the bumper and it's still going still going yeah it wants it back bumper completely we're getting here's into the big my, ones now here's one of my most favorite my truck yes in the wind. <laughs> he really swings through the mud he's really fast Yes, King Sling. Yeah. We got this for Christmas. This yeah. is the, the Low C LMT King Sling. This yeah. thing is an absolute uh, animal. Yeah, it's amazing. It goes crazy in the mud. Perfect for Axel. This is just up yeah, his alley. Yeah, my style. Next up, we've got a pair of SCX sixes. You know, like I said, we always end up with two. Can you tell whose is whose? <laughs> That's yours, and this is mine. Yes, mine you is can the. Tell because what they. I'm, we know ours because you like keeping your clean and I like keeping mine dirty. <laughs> I go crazy in the mud. Yes, you do. You know what I mean? Yes, so mine is the red clean one and Axel's is the tan muddy one. I want you to look at the stickers. Yes, of course, it's all tatted up with Cape Crawler's merch as well. I just, I'm trying to clean it off. The SCX6s are amazing. I grabbed mine on Black Friday. They had a huge sale on these. And then, like I said, I traded my previous UTB18 fully built for the tan one. Yep, and we dream this one to do when it do the real time it really existed. That's right. You put it on your dream to do when it came here. That's right. You put it on your dream board, and then yep. here it is. That's yeah. what we do. <laughs> so that was it for the crawlers. Now we're gonna move on to the bashers and the fast ones. So these are ones that I did not cover in the last video, so this is gonna be all new. So let's start, you wanna go small to big, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Starting on the end here, this is the relatively new FMT24 from FMS. This is a mini basher, 24 scale yeah, basher. It's one of my favorites. Very I fun. Love it. Fast, fun, and tough. Yeah. This is the FCX24. This is the Smasher, but we've completely customized this one with the Rampart kit from Retech. It's got the brushless Greyhound motor. Very, very fast. Couple more other Smashers here. So we've got two camo Smashers. Yeah. This one has the tracks on it. Yep. And it then is one of my favorites. this is a Smasher with the high speed motor with the camo body yeah. on it. Next up, we've got a buggy. I shamefully can't even remember who the manufacturer is of this buggy. I can tell you that it's fast and very, very fun and unfortunately broken right now. Here comes what we got for Christmas as well. Yes. The same Christmas that we got King Sling. Yeah, Santa was very nice and got us two Losi Mini LMTs. These are yep. the new 18 scale monster trucks. I got Son of a Digger. Axel got Grave Digger. And can you tell which one who's? So this is a little different because yeah. mine is actually more beat up than yours. See, yeah. I, I've smashed the front end off of mine. Yeah, and mine's still intact, but it has a lot of plastic. <laughs> yeah. Right hey, I grew up watching monster trucks. I got to thrash it, and that's what happens. So we've been putting those things through the paces. Yeah. And this is my one of my favorites. This is a Hyper Go Street Basher. Yep. This it thing. Has, this makes what it has lights right here police lights. Yes. Yep. Very fast. On 3S, that thing is a weapon. Yes. Next up, we've got the Bezgar Basher. This was one of our first fast ones. Bezgar sent us this one to review. We've held on to it. This is the 3S one. Very quick. Getting into some of the other 18 scale bashers. So this is the Hosim. I can't remember yeah. the model name, but this is an 18 scale mini monster truck basher. Yeah, and we bash the front part of the whole bumper off. We did, but we got an extra body. Yep. 
Next up is the Hyper Go. This is another 18 scale basher from Hyper Go. This one's this a lot of fun. One of my favorite too. This gold's one of your favorite colors, right? Yep. Gold and black go really good together. Yep. Coming down to the end here, this is the pretty much brand new Arlarlo Omni Terminator. This is a 10th scale monster truck. That one is a lot of fun. We just got that one and been having a blast with it. Yes. Here's a couple more Hosim bashers. This is the big 10th scale truck from Hosim. And then here is the Venom. So this one's awesome. This one's very fast. Yeah. Yeah, these are these are when we started to get into some serious bashers. Not yeah. serious for a lot of experienced folks, but for us, these were pretty yeah. intense. I am really used to speed. Oh, you are? Yeah, I know how to drive fast up and slow. <laughs> okay. I'm really good at it. When Axel started to get into the fast stuff and started to learn how to control, I thought it was time to get him something cool for indoor carpet racing. So we got the Arma Sentin here. This started off as the two wheel drive. We did convert it to the four wheel drive. Still running the brushed motor right now. We'll probably do a brushless conversion in the spring though, I think. Awesome. Coming down to the end, now we got a couple other Armas. So this was the Arma Infraction. Yeah. This we got, these two we got on a smoking sale when they were just discontinuing these they went on a fire sale with these two trucks a smoking deal on that one and that's been a lot of fun very very cool trucks the styling on them is so cool and it's fast enough for a good starter basher but you've got the option to upgrade it to brushless which we will be doing soon and this one is one is really fast so fast that it needs to have holes in the Vendors. Yeah, so the Vendetta, the Arma Vendetta. Yeah. This again was Vendetta. on complete fire sale when we yeah. got this one. So the like Vendetta 3S, capable of 70 miles an hour out of the box if you put the optional pinion gear on it. We yeah. have not done that. This thing is incredibly fast, way faster than what we need. Yeah, but I can somehow control it. Supercar hypercar styling of those things very cool so i'm looking forward to the summertime when we can get that thing out axel's bigger this year and more experienced so i think we're gonna have a lot of fun with the fast ones this year yeah all right guys so that was it that is our entire rc collection right there all 79 of them yep lined up right there the hobby has exploded for us in the last year since i did that last video we have gotten so many RCs. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, we, we, I know we might gain more any day. We get a lot. I mean, that's the thing with running the channel and things. We get a lot of them given to us for reviews and products. A lot of them we give away to family and friends. So our inventory rotates in and out as we trade some, give some away. But right now, this is our core collection for 2024. Definitely thank you all, the viewers, for making this possible. All of these sponsored trucks and things that we've gotten wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you guys the audience supporting the channel giving us the reach and the opportunity to test these awesome trucks yeah and the affiliate revenue and the YouTube revenue goes right back into the hobby so you want to know where all of the money goes from the channel it goes into fixing and maintaining this fleet right here yep. it goes into fixing the ones that keep breaking yes and that over happens and over again. it's like a full-time job maintaining it with this little guy right here but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below how big is your collection that's a good one <laughs> it's crazy how fast it adds up though and it's wild they multiply like rabbits <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it thanks for hanging out with us going over our entire collection for the 2024 edition we'll do a follow-up next year and see how much this grows see you next time please like and subscribe if you haven't done so and we'll see you in the next video yeah